Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. This week is the first week where we have a featured raid from year one and we start with Crota's End. The two challenges this week is the Deathstinger Challenge and the Crota Challenge. And completing these, of course, will grant you a chance of attaining an Exotic Adept Elemental Primary. So in this video, we'll take a look at how exactly you can complete the challenges of Crota's End. So of course, Crota's End has undergone some changes, especially in the department of the Bridge section. This section now demands that you defeat at least five gatekeepers before you have to kill five more coming through the doors. This should make the raid a lot more difficult to solo, but I'm sure someone will find a way. Either way, it was a very unexpected and very fun addition to the raid. But moving on to the challenge for the Deathsinger. The main objective to complete the challenge mode is to defeat Iryut with a Blade of Crota. Now, if you're familiar with Crota's End, you might be wondering where this sword comes from. And that's another place where Crota's End is different now. What you need to do as soon as you get inside the chamber is to move as quickly as possible to defeat all of the adds. Once you take out the Wizards and the Shriekers, you will then have another wave of Ogres and Knights that spawn in the back of the room. The Ogres will spawn in their usual place and the Knights in the chamber above. We had two people on each side taking out the Ogres and two more taking out the Knights in the towers. My only piece of advice is to be very careful with these major Knights as they pack quite a punch two of their melee hits will kill you. Once you take down the Ogres and Knights, a sword bearer will spawn from the usual door, and you'll have to kill him to take his sword. Now the footage you're seeing before you is our first attempt, and I wasn't sure how much damage it would take, but as you can see, we had very little time left on the clock, so I rushed in to help with damage, but we didn't really need it as that sword seemed to take out Iryut in just one stroke. And so we got the challenge with one second to go. Special shout out to my clanmate Black Rhino for his quick moves. Now for completing the challenge, I got the Abyss Defiant Adept with Solar Damage. It has Focused Fire, Perfect Balance, and Lich Bane, which has a chance to disorient Hive Wizards. I'll be giving my full first impressions of this weapon a little bit later on in the week, but I have to say I'm a big fan of it. Anyways, moving on to the Crota Challenge. To complete the challenge here, you have to have a different member of your fire team pick up the sword every time it drops, and you also can't drop the weapon and pick it back up. So defenders, you won't be able to pop your bubble in the middle, and hunters won't have a chance to melee Crota to go invisible. Now the good news is that this isn't so terrible because of some of the changes. The main change is that every time Crota gets up from his kneeling position, he will summon an Oversoul. That means as soon as he gets up, he's not going to slam you right back down. He's going to be busy in his summoning animation. Now as soon as the Oversoul appears, you have to hit him with your second round of rockets, and then go towards taking out the Oversoul. The reason we took it out so quickly is because we had a Gunslinger Hunter pop the Oversoul with a Golden Gun using Celestial Nighthawk. I recommend you do the same. Now I understand you're not always going to have a Gunslinger at the ready, so I recommend everyone go at the Oversoul with your primary. Now I'm not 100% certain whether or not you have to take it out in two rotations, but we managed to do so just fine. And of course, defeating the Crota Challenge gets you a second chance at another Exotic Adept Primary. I happen to get one both times. In fact, there wasn't a single member of our fire team who didn't get one each time, so the chances, so to speak, are very high. And of course, the second weapon I got was the Fang of Ear Ute Adept, which is a scout rifle with arc damage. It has some pretty fantastic perks, and again, I'm going to be going over these weapons in much more detail later on. Finally, I want to clarify that you do not have to complete the challenge modes to get the Age of Triumph ornaments. You simply have to play the raid while it's featured. In my run of Crota's End with my Titan, I happened to get the Mark and the Gauntlets, so I applied the ornaments to both of those. But anyways, I really enjoyed what they did with Crota's End, and I'm very excited to see what they did for Vault of Glass next week. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Other than that, I did also post another video a couple hours ago in case you missed it, which was a breakdown of the brand new Destiny 2 teaser that Bungie released this morning. I did a full breakdown video, so if you want to watch that, hit the I in the upper right hand corner or the link in the description box below. Today has been an incredible day for Destiny fans, and it doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. So drop a like if you're feeling good today, subscribe for more Destiny and Destiny 2 content, and I will see you all next time. It looks like the Vanguard mentors were having a meeting of some kind, and then they were suddenly attacked by the Cabal. And by the looks of it, they are most likely a part of this supposed Red Guard.